For years, designers have known that to entice you into buying something, they kind of have to make you look at it first, right? Psychologists have done deep dives into what colors create what emotions in people and combine those colors to make you associate it with a product or a service. I mean, how else are you gonna make finding insurance or buying a broom appealing? right? Trust me, once you know which colors are associated with which brands and products, you'll never look at those logos on your street or the products in your house the same way again. Let's go color by color and see what you think. To get your temperature going, let's start with the color just flowing through my veins right now. Red is used frequently as a color of power and dominance. It gets people's attention, which is why it's used on stop signs. It's also associated with risk. If you're a rebellious risk taker like Richard Branson, you might be forgiven for Virgin choosing this color. It's also why you see so much red neon at casinos or in Vegas. You're gonna take the chance because you're literally seeing red. Think we're that much smarter than bulls right now? It's a psychological warning color for a reason. It's the color of blood and heat. Things we have been psychologically programmed to be attentive to and which have been shown to increase heart rate and pupil dilation. Funnily enough, it also stimulates appetite, which is why you see it used in fast food so often. Red makes you hungry and yellow seen as fun. Can you think of any logos like that? Well, since we're on exciting warnings, let's go one rung down on the stoplight for a second and actually talk about yellow, which is interesting because it's also the common color of the stoplights themselves. It's cautious, but seen as a little less scary than red, which is why it's so often used in construction. It commands attention while showing a playful side. It's a color of spring and common color and childhood cheeriness perfect for a messaging app all about capturing fun moments quickly, or for the camera that captures those moments, or when you just have to write something down you're trying to remember. Maybe you want to capture that nostalgia with an alert on your way out of the grocery store? That's the idea behind a lot of the candies and suckers you might see. Fun fact, the designer of the Chupa Chups logo by the way? Salvatore Dali. Yeah, surreal right? Say you're not trying to get people to notice you as much as you're trying to get people to trust you. Go blue, boo! If you're gonna trust putting your hard-earned money in something and knowing that it's safe, you'll likely find a blue box comforting, like the kind that Tiffany's provides. Or you could keep it in a bank, or on your credit card. You can drive it home in your safe GM car, and sleep safe knowing that you're insured with Blue Shield Blue Cross. Hey, don't forget to brush! We got you, Blue. The world will be calm tonight, so you don't have to worry because your private info is safe with us, right? If that's too many masculine head games, then why not add in some pink? The Baskin Robbins logo has three colors, blue and pink on a white background. The blue and white colors stand for such qualities as excellence, elegance, purity, and reliability. The pink color represents the little pink spoon used by customers to taste samples and annoy all the people waiting behind you. This color also helps to lower aggression and calm your tummy. It's fun, feminine, and cosmopolitan. Perfect for a magazine like, well, Cosmopolitan. Also, when you think about it, pink seems like it might be fun on a first date, right? Okay, let's play on that dating scenario with a different color for a second. Green is exactly what you think it is. Money and the environment. So let's say you met a cute earthy environmentalist at the Whole Foods. You can start by taking them out somewhere chill and inviting them somewhere that doesn't seem cheap. Perhaps a wholesome healthy date that still evokes the color of money. Want to be the outdoorsman? Go for a long outdoorsy drive. Maybe you end up enjoying a lot of outdoor activities and ho ho ho, they get you to finally enjoy eating your vegetables. Then you can settle down and start shopping online together. Or maybe you can go on a trip. If that's not the vibe, then just stay in and watch some Animal Planet. Hey, you don't have to take our advice. Maybe they just think your tractor's sexy. If you really want to impress, you might choose a color representing a higher level of wealth. Look to medieval royalty for that kind of luxury and you'll probably see a lot of purple. Why? Well, in the old days, it was the hardest dye to make. Ever notice the crown on the top of your Hallmark card? What team does King James play on right now? Kinda has a history of kings. Or maybe you notice the rich taste of your Cadbury chocolates. Milka chocolates. Purdy's chocolates? I mean really just a lot of candy. Maybe you drown it down with some crown. But if you really want to keep up your majesty, then it might be good to unleash your unique creative side. Hit a curves for that unique you and go create some content to show off your fame online. If you're feeling energetic, then orange might be more your style. It kind of feels friendly and playful like a Nickelodeon show or moving like you're cruising down a highway on your Harley Davidson trying to deliver a package for Amazon. I mean, 
It could happen. Perhaps I've been playing too many Rockstar games. It doesn't seem that expensive either because orange is the color of discounts. If you want to pay less, why not pay less? You can save a lot of money by doing it yourself at Home Depot, or maybe save some time by using banks like Tangerine, which at one point was trying to get you to save fees as ING Direct, before they just decided to go all in on the color. Hey, it's just straight up orange bank in Europe. Wow, they're not even trying to hide the color theory over there anymore, huh? Let's get a little more down to earth, shall we? I mean, literally look down at the earth. It's pretty brown, and honestly, it's kind of relaxing for a lie down in the park. <laughs> Yep, you can always depend on good old fashioned salt of the earth, hard work and brown. UPS has been making their employees look like khakied versions of Angus Young since 1916. Yeah, it may not be appealing to the masses, but it's okay by me. That's literally the feeling of brown. May not win every time, but I can count on it over time. Just like you can always count on that dependable local sports team in overtime, right? Or your local watering hole when it doesn't pan out your way? Yep just a brown collar fella and a white collar world. White historically has been virtuous, but it can also come off as being somewhat arrogant. The best part of white is that it makes places feel spacious. It's easy to contrast and keeps you thinking about those big open spaces and clean, peaceful feelings. Think big, fluffy clouds. Keep things light, you know? We try to keep things calm around here. Don't worry. That's why you see white with healthcare and nutrition so much. Every wellness expert will tell you the importance of calm, airy mindsets. That's why they paint planes this color. Airlines really want you to subconsciously not worry about how this big metal tube actually flies. It's also one of the most popular car colors, although you have to be careful if you're in a snowy location, as my father once told me when he was hit by a snowblower. After that, it wasn't long before he was back in black. There are an immeasurable number of songs and art inspired by the color black, and that's because it's literally absorbing all of the color in the world. It may seem dark and spooky at first, but it can also be a great contrast color, or luxurious as well. That's actually what makes black great, versatility. Whatever hue you want to cast, there's a shade of black for that. That kind of clear definition is why it can get used for exclusivity. Remember that next time you reach to pay with your black credit card. It's a mark of style and simplicity, so think about high-end brands like Louis Vuitton, Prada, and Coach. Not that fancy, but still wanna be sleek? Well, think Adidas or Nike. Why not? Just do it. In the interest of not being basic, we'll save asking you your favorite color, but at least maybe you'll think about it. Hope you see now why companies actually trademark their logos. While you always might have thought brands pick colors because they look nifty, there is a fair amount of stress thought and science behind it. Ask any cooked out designer how many hours and late nights they spend looking at color swatches, but make sure you do it after you bring them some coffee. Thanks guys, and don't forget to subscribe for more.